One of the things that, that uh, our people at Western Power do really, really well is when it comes to bushfires and storm response, they, they almost seem to lift another level. They're very in the moment, they, they want to help the community, as we all do, that's, that's the kind of role we are in this job, and, you know, it's all about serving the community. We had multiple bushfires at the beginning of this year. Waterloo was the, the biggest and baddest fire I think we've had in quite some time. It quickly progressed into, uh, into the metro area. During that fire there was 574 poles damaged, including conductors, multiple teams were uh, involved in that response. Obviously we had the, uh, the cyclone go through and the aftermath of the, the amount of damage that was realised at that point uh, was bigger than what we, we ever had seen before. Probably one of the biggest storms I've ever been involved in. In terms of preparedness for bushfires and storms, we prepare in a different way, different resources we assemble. Uh, it's difficult to make an estimation of how big, especially in a storm event, is going to, going to land. Uh, many times we have uh, some major warnings from bomb uh, about major storms coming through and they never really eventuate. So it's always one of those ones where we need to try and calculate that we do need an X amount of staff to respond. Response phase, it's all about safety, public safety, working with the local emergency agencies to make sure that uh, the area is safe for them because you get a lot of low hanging wires and you've got to make sure they're not energised, etc. So there's a lot of work goes on through the control room and the faultman in the field. Then that switches over to a full response mode where we bring in a team of people and other construction experts to start doing a plan of how we're going to repair it and how we're going to respond in terms of resources, materials, etc. But we still had to make sure everything was safe out there. And it's like any utility business in the world, you never have enough resources when a big storm comes through. You're always, you know, you have to prioritise where the main hazards are and get them as quickly as you can. And when you start connecting people after such a significant event, it really picks them up. So you're providing essential services back to them in terms of even the corner shop. And funny enough, the pub's important in a, in a, in a country life uh, community. You know, when people go there, they have a lot of their town meetings in the pub and et cetera. But these things are really important. Getting fuel back in the community as well. Uh, we had a lot of generators out on site that required fuel. So it was important that we got the key petrol stations back on, shops, etc. We have got a, a Certainly a better network uh, in, in the North Country area, right through there. We have replaced a significant amount of poles, uh, and that goes on the transmission side as well. We expect the unexpected, and we're going to prepare more diligent going forward as well, because we have to expect climate change, etc. Things are changing. We are getting more bushfires coming through, and more network folks due to that. So it's uh, a lot more planning involved uh, to get it right.